Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 14 of my Final Fantasy VIII Let's Play. Last episode had a lot going on. Not only did we have the battle between the two different garden factions, one being for Headmaster Sid, and two being for Garden Master Norg, who we don't even know yet. We also had those Galbadian missiles from the Galbadian missile base coming straight for us. Um, however, the garden had a secret. Deep down below, once, ki once uh, Headmaster Sid gave us the uh, elevator key, we were able to go far, far below the MD level in the garden. And in doing so, we opened up a whole world of possibility because that made the garden back into the shelter that it was before it actually became the garden, meaning it is movable and it can fly. So we are now at the point where uh, directly afterwards, we wound up almost running into Ballantown, and we somehow managed to get it to shift over, but now Garden is stuck in the ocean. So Sid is going to try and see if he can find someone that can actually maneuver the Garden. So yeah. This is where we're going to be starting from, and oh, I will say before I start, if you took Renoa with you here, she would actually be the one that woke Squall up, and there would be a little bit of a scene between them where, actually, I don't know that I want to go into detail for that. Um... I'll just say that there is a little bit of a scene between the two. It is quite cute. Um, I won't go into detail just because this will just give you one more thing to make you want to play the game yourself. We will be moving on because if you remember in the last episode, we got an invitation from one of the faculty members to go to B1 level to where Norg is at. So that's where we're going to go first. There are quite a lot of things we can do at the moment. Like, you really could go anywhere in the garden you want to. You just can't actually leave the garden for obvious reasons during the water. So let's go ahead and do this part first. We're going to head to B1. It takes you there automatically. Please, listen to me. The headmaster's here? What are you guys doing down here? What? Oh, me? I came down because I saw you guys. Let go of me. I'm not finished. Greedy son of a bitch, why did I ever bother talking to you? Seeds were brought up for the future, and that future is now. Why can't you understand? Damn it. I should have never trusted you. I wish I could go back ten or so years. To tell myself that you're nothing but a money-grubbing son of a bitch, then I would have never built this place. Paul. You heard everything? Yes. I'm embarrassed. But sometimes even men like old men like me lose their temper. 
let's get out of here. Oh. Sir, I still have to give you my report. Please come to my office later. You're the seeds who returned from Galbadia, correct? Yes. It's about time. Master Norg has been waiting for you. Come. That's where we're going to go. Whenever Master Norg calls you, be sure to be there within three seconds. Three seconds are up. This is the Garden Master. The proprietor of Garden? He's not human? Come to think of it, we didn't know anything about him. What a shock. Give you a report on the sorceress. Answer him quickly. Be precise. It's going to be a sad report. We failed to assassinate Sorceress Idea. Confirmation of Headmaster Sid's order was made at Galbadia Garden. After Irvine Kinius at Galbadia Garden joined our party. We set off to carry out the Sorcerer's Assassination Order from Balam and Galbadia Gardens. Balam and Galbadia's orders? You were fooled. Fooled? I... don't understand. Explain to them. Master Norg has known about the alliance between the President of Galbadia and the Sorceress. He heard it from the Galbadia Master himself. The Galbadia Garden Master? The Master of Galbadia Garden is a subordinate of mine named Martine. Yes, in fact the Sorceress and Garden are closely connected. That is why the Sorceress will definitely try to gain hold of all gardens. So Master Norg sent an official order to Galbadia Garden. It was to kill the Sorceress, and assassination was thought to be the best means. But... That sly Weasel Martin used you as a last resort for the assassination. He gave that order to place the blame on me. That bastard. Are you saying that Bellum Garden has nothing to do with that order? You just happened to show up just before the mission to was to be carried out. They used you. But the operation failed. The sorceress is still alive, and the sorceress retaliated, just as we suspected. No doubt, it was the Sorceress who had ordered those missile attacks. Something must be done to calm the Sorceress's anger. In order to do so, we need to hand over those involved in the assassination to the Sorceress. We had to show Balon Garden sincerity. Wait a minute. That's just... Offer the Seed's head on a silver platter and pretend we obey the Sorceress. Why aren't we fighting the Sorceress? What about all the training we endure every day? What good is it? What did you say? You lost to the Sorceress. Quit your whining.
Headmaster Sid was saying the same thing. Hey. Sid. That idiot Sid dispatched Seed to kill the sorceress. And if you fail, this garden will be done for. My garden. It will all be over. That idiot Sid. Has he forgotten it was I who put up the money to establish garden? I wanted to offer the sorceress Sid's head along with the seeds. I ordered the students to find Sid, but they sided with him. This is my garden. No. It's not just yours. Then what is it? Is it Sid's and Adia's? That pathetic married couple's? What? The Headmaster and Adia are married? I don't get it. Now I understand. Sid and Adia are trying to take the garden away from me. You're one of Sid's followers, aren't you? Prepare to die. Yo. Well, watch it. Okay, so now we're going to be fighting Norg. His battle can be quite annoying. Um, but... Blue, yellow, red. Lots of magic. From red. As long as color stays, I will attack seeds. Something like that. His, his dialogue was so fast. I think it's because I have the thing set to it things, but yeah, um, if I remember correctly, red is offensive magic. Pretty strong ones. I think green, no green, um, yellow I believe is buffs, and blue is recovery I believe. So you kind of want to attack his little thing in the bottom when they're red or when they're uh, blue. We'll do the best we can. I will say, while I'm in this menu, since so nothing will progress, you want to make sure that you draw Leviathan, and it is on Nord himself. Make sure you do that. I believe. Okay, not yet. Not yet, but it will be. Okay, let me see. I'm going to need... So we're back in the cycle. I'm gonna hit these. I'm trying to remember what you have to do in terms of the head. I know you have to like break the top part. But I don't remember if it's physical or magic. I think it's physical. Just a little bit hard to get. Okay, I think that one's not red. Let me see. Let me just try and use the good ones. It's not just not red. Scan and see, I can't I know you have to break actually when you break it. I just think. Okay, Nord Pog. Nord Pod. A defense shelter protecting us from Nord. The shelter must be destroyed in order to attack Nord, who is in the shelter. Okay, so you don't want to use lightning because it is stronger against it. And resist it like crazy, so anything else but lightning. 
Honestly, it's just beefy. No matter what you do. Which makes sense. Okay. Right. So just attack when you can, and then try to make sure that the things aren't red. I keep somebody around just in case it turns uh, red on me. Basically, this fight is not all that bad. It's mostly just wearing it down. It's so beefy. It has really high defense and uh, spirit. This is my garden. You can't do as you please. Okay. Now what do you have? Should we protect this? Okay. Pretty good magic. I got what flames we could get. Exactly. Do this. That is not who I meant to click. I'll do it anyway, though. Left orb. Norg's support system with auto recover functions that restore any damage. Uses magic attacks. And magic of any element. We can cast second level magic, which is great. I need to use stamina. considered physical, that thing he did. The spell obviously isn't. Okay, let's see. So Norg, master of Balam Garden, opposes Headmaster Sid in trying to control Balam Garden. So he's weak against wind, and you can't use poison. Okay, so wind it is. So we'll be spamming arrows. Two double. Get one double for him. It's not good. I think I have like seven left. I have about twelve. Yes, 
I need to get some of these. I'm gonna need them. You're definitely gonna wanna have this. Especially for a fight later. Very, very important. Even if you just get a couple, you just need, you just need a couple. Second level win magic, I do it, but uh, you actually kind of don't because it's my enemy. There we go, that's some good damage. There again. Okay, I was right. That is considered a physical. Also, one of the reasons why I wanted to share feather. I think I had my back of my mind of what I wanted it for. It was that, that other fight that I wanted for in this one. Especially. Let me get that off you again. Especially if you have enemies that want to buff. There aren't many that do, but the ones that do are pretty nasty. Okay. I need to get this off. He, he does a special thing if they're red. You don't want it red. Yeah, realistically, this fight's not that bad. One of the reasons why I've purposely held off on doing good magic is one for this, since we have Garden Move now. And the other part of it was because of, um, I don't want to make the game like stupid easy with good magic. He's a really, really good summon. What happened to the master? Forget about it for now. What do you mean, forget about it? Look at what just happened. What's the point of talking about it now? You don't know what's going on either. This is crazy. I don't know what's going on anymore. I feel like a helpless puppet being manipulated in some major scheme. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
Let's go talk to the headmaster. I'm sure he knows what's going on. Yeah, I'm going to just go see the headmaster. Okay, so uh, it's usually hidden, but up there where the garden master was is a hidden drop point for bio. And you want to make sure you get it. Okay, 10 is pretty good. Uh, that drop point is hidden, but it's not a one time. It will eventually come back, so you can come back down here later. I'm not sure when. I forgot how long it takes to come back uh, and get some more. But there is an enemy that you can just draw a bio from, which is... Uh, I don't like that far away. Okay. Master Norgon, we are going to go to, like they said, we are going to go up to the third floor and talk to Sid because we need to figure out what's going on here. Okay, third floor. Uh, I will say if there's like weird pauses when I'm trying to do these lines, like I mentioned plenty of times, the microphone is blocking certain things. Uh, so I kind of have to like look around like crazy trying to do these lines, but I'm doing the best I can. Okay. And he normally would sit down here, but because of this, he's on the top. I believe. I know where he is. I tried to do this before and he went in there. You want to go to the infirmary. That's where he's at. Although you probably have to talk to Kata Walkie, I think that's why she's out. Okay, first floor. Okay, I'll go to the right first and see if she's there. Because if she is, I think you can talk to her. Okay. Okay, so she isn't. If I had known that, I probably would have talked to her before I did that, because of missing dialogue, but I forgot about that part. My bad. Okay, yeah, there she is. Do you need to see the headmaster? Actually, uh -huh. all right. I meant, I meant to save. Let me go back up to the... Let me see if this is back. I think the save point should be back now. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I always forget every single time. Once that event happens, the save point down there is just gone. I don't think it ever comes back. I want to go to the dorms. I need to save so that if something screws up, uh, I have a way to come back without having to do that fight again. Okay. Let me save really quick. Second slot number seven. And yeah, we're going to go to the infirmary. the reason why he's in the infirmary. I think it's just the toll all this is taking on him because he is an older man. I think that might be the reason. We'll get to it when we get in here, obviously. Do you need to see the headmaster? Yes, now we do. Well, the headmaster is kind of... I'm okay now, Doctor. Are you sure? 
Yes, I believe I'm done crying. Just take it easy, okay? He's got a lot on his mind. You all see me in such an embarrassing state. What shall we talk about? I want to make a report. No, no, it's not necessary. I can guess what must have happened. What shall we talk about? The real meaning of seed. Please tell me the real meaning of seed. Seed is seed, the elite mercenary force of Balam Garden. Hmm. Do you know something about seed? I never know anything. Seed will defeat the sorceress. The garden will train seed members. The many missions around the world are only training for the final battle against the sorceress. But now, this, but now that the sorceress has become a major threat, our true mission has begun. What shall we talk about? About sorceress idea. Please tell me about sorceress idea. I heard she's your wife. You're quite right. She had been a sorceress since childhood. I married her, knowing that. We were happy. We worked together, the two of us. We were very happy. One day, Adia began talking about building the garden and training seed. I became obsessed with that plan, but I was very concerned with Seed's goal, that one day, Seed might fight Adia. She laughed and told me that would never happen. However, what shall we talk about? about Master Norg. He is from the Shumi tribe, a black sheep of a tribe, one might say. We met while I was running around trying to find funds to build a garden. He became interested in building off the garden, and we hit it off. Thanks to his funding, it was completed. However, we needed an enormous amount of funds to run the garden. So we began dispatching seeds around the world as a means of supporting the garden. Norg's idea was right on the money. An enormous amount of capital began flowing into the garden, and the garden began to change. Lost sight of our high ideals, the truth was covered up. That's probably enough. In the end, it was my fault for giving up control. What shall we talk about? What do we do now? We must stop drifting around soon. I only hope that we can get things back to the way they were. What shall we talk about? Okay, it's the same thing. Uh, I forgot that, that was the end. I thought he had like one thing after that. Okay. What is it? Are you injured again? Go ahead and go back out. I can't remember what we have to do now. I'm trying to remember. I think we have to go down the right side. Pretty sure. But I'm gonna go ahead and go back up to the dorms and save again so I can, I can already have all that dialogue done. It sucks I have to run all the way up here just to save, but I have to. There is some pretty wild information uh, with Sorcerer's idea being Sid's wife. Um, remember when I first played, that was uh, very interesting information. Uh, I remember being kind of shocked by it too. Like, you wouldn't think that looking at her. After hearing her speak, being like, 
thinking that of her, you know? Okay. Yeah, I can't remember what to do next. I think we have to go... I think I go to the front. Squall, squall. Have you seen the headmaster around? He's at the infirmary. What's up? Go to the second floor deck and see for yourself. There's a ship approaching. It could be Galbedians or worse. The sorcerers might be on board, coming to attack us. I have to tell the headmaster right away. To go and see that ship. So we're gonna go to the second floor, and like before, when the garden was moving, we're gonna to go to that door that is past the classroom. Because that's where it's gonna be at. Okay, so I'm gonna pause here for just a second. Okay, I drink some water because my throat is killing me, and that's because of all the yelling. I'm gonna have to do more yelling, though. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, this or right here. A ship? A Galbadian ship? Is Headmaster Sid here? No, he's not here. Are you from Galbadia? We are Seeds. This is Adia's ship. We are Sorceress Adia's Seed. Seed? We're coming aboard. We're unarmed. I love their entrance. It's very cool. Please, we come in peace. We must speak to Headmaster Sid. Where is he? I'm right here. Headmaster, we've come for a loan. It's too dangerous here now. Yes, I'm afraid so. Alone? That girl from Windhill? Squall, you know who she is? Please go find her. She's here somewhere in the garden. Who are these guys? How are they connected? Squall? Yes, sir. Yeah, that is where we're gonna go. They don't give you any hint of where she is. But she is here in the garden. Wow. A lone stack girl, huh? It's that little girl the gunner was looking after. Probably. So she's in the garden. Where is she? Let's split up and look for her. So yeah, they're gonna go on their own. So it's just you. But I already know where she is. She is in the library. So that's where we're gonna go. Um, you can look around, but you're not gonna find her there. She is in the library. So that'll be down here in the very first one on the right. I will say, this is the part where the story gets a lot more interesting, especially after finding out that's not a bad idea. She's in this part. Yes, Squall? Are you alone? Yes. You're alone? Be alone? What is going on? 
You know Laguna, don't you? I do. I really love Uncle Laguna. Then tell me, what is it that we experience? I'm sorry, Squall. It's hard to explain. But, one thing. It's about the past. So we were viewing the past. People say you can't change the past. But even still, if there's a possibility, it's worth a try, right? Change the past? Is she serious? Give me a break. Are you the one responsible? Are you the one taking us to that dream world? I'm sorry. Not again. So much I don't understand. Why me? I have enough problems as it is. Don't get me involved in this. I'm sorry. Don't... Don't count on me. Squall, did you find alone? Um... I'm alone. Are you alright? What alone said under her breath was... You're my only hope. Why do people depend on each other? In the end, you're on your own. I've made it this far by myself. Sure, I couldn't do a thing when I was a kid. on others, but... I'll be the first one to admit that I'm here because of other people. I'm fine by myself now. I have all the skills I need to survive. I'm not a child anymore. That's a lie. I don't know anything. I'm confused. I don't want to depend on anyone. How can I do that? Someone tell me. Someone. So I'll end up depending on others after all. Like usual, voice and children makes me uncomfortable. I'm just going to try to make my voice a bit higher of my normal since I use my normal for squall anyway. Sis. I'm all alone, but I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. What? Well, I've been thinking. We're a team, yet we haven't really talked lately. Don't tell me there's nothing to say. 
Not that I have anything to say, but... Well, you know. You want to go kick some monster butt at the training center? I'm going to go with Cannon. He wouldn't be in the mood. Sorry. Oh, okay. You know, why don't I make you feel good to move around a little? Let me know if you change your mind. Do I look that depressed to everyone? Yeah, Squall's having a bit of a rough time. This is the headmaster speaking. The lions have been fixed, and I'm glad to be back on the air. Hurrah. Um. Whoa. Boy, it's a slow day. Come on, give me a big one. So, if you notice, he was fish fishing on a huge crane. I don't know what's more scary, that or the, the fact that he's like, literally on a crane, really high up. Both are horrifying, I hate both. Squall, this is the headmaster speaking. Please come to my office. Repeat, please come to my office right away. Everybody, please remain calm. Also, please do not leave the garden under any circumstances until you are permitted. We will try to get things back in order ASAP. Thank you for your cooperation. Ah, oh, Squall, thank you for coming. Here are your orders. We've landed on Fisherman's Horizon. Please go ashore with Quistus and Zell. Find the local mayor and apologize for the accident. Tell them that we come in peace. Take a look around the city while you're there, too. Yes, sir. Why do I have to go? Do you have something you want to tell me? No. Sea is not just a special force for combat. I want you to see the world. To broaden your horizons. I have high expectations of you, Squall. Now go. Okay, that is what we're going to do. Although, I'm going to have to save. I want to save and then check my time. I don't remember how long I've gone. I haven't checked. What's up? Are we going to Fisherman's? A new mission? We'll land at Fisherman's Horizon. We'll make an official apology, then observe the town. Yo, go to the second floor deck to get to the Fisherman's. The front gate's closed. Yeah, he is correct about that. Uh, and it's closed for very obvious reasons, because we're underwater. <laughs> so obviously the front gate would be closed. 
because that would just be asking for all the water to come in. Okay, so yeah, we are going to go to the dorms first. Because I need to save and check the time. I have a feeling we've reached the time limit already. Pretty sure. I could be wrong. It could be like 40-something or 50-something at this point. You have to be pretty late at this point. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save and I'm going to check. It's hard to tell. Okay, so hold on just a second. Okay, not quite. I have like about six or so. Okay, not quite. I do have like six-ish minutes left. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Fisherman's. And I'll be able to save there, I'm sure. Well, I mean, I probably should just go ahead and quit. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter one, uh, but I do think that this is a good point to stop uh, because my throat is killing me from all the yelling. I don't really, I don't really exclaim that hard that much often, so it kind of hurts. So I'm going to do the the good thing and just end it for now and in the next episode we will actually go into fisherman's horizon and yeah we're going to have to apologize for the accident because we did not actually mean to ram into them okay with that being said if you like what you see here please do consider subscribing i'm trying to go my platform as big as i can if you want to follow any of the links i have them down below in the description and I will see you back here for part number 15.